I'm Kat Timpf with National Review. Last year, a New York State Senator introduced a bill that would protect kids from having to go to the health department in order to run a lemonade stand. It passed in the New York Senate Health Committee on April 30th and hopefully will become law. Let me be clear. Shutting down a child's lemonade stand for the sake of public safety is a stupid, disgusting waste of public, taxpayer-funded resources. If these kids were out there spiking lemonade with arsenic and people were dropping like flies in the summer heat, I'd understand. But I did a little research and I found out there have been exactly zero casualties of children's lemonade stands. That's right, not even a single person has died. I sold lemonade on my family's driveway as a child, and it was probably one of the more useful activities that I'd engaged in during my summers. These days, I don't think that kids have enough of that kind of thing. I mean actual, real-life experiences with real-life people that don't just teach but demonstrate real-life lessons. I don't want to sound like a crotchety old woman, at least not for another 35 years, but kids seem like they're always attached to screens. They're playing mindless games on their phones. They're posting pictures of themselves to try and get likes and feeling bad if they don't. How about, instead of shutting down lemonade stands, the government finds something else to do with our resources? After all, even though lemonade stands don't kill people, other things do, like car accidents and cancer and murder and sometimes falling furniture. So this summer, let's get some perspective and push our government to focus on real problems instead of creating bogus ones.